ten dollar, ten dollar, ten dollars here, ten dollars there. I got ten dollars. I got ten dollars over there. I wrote fifteen, 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 fifteen dollars, fifteen dollars. Thank you very much to the very generous gentleman. Fifteen dollars, twenty to twenty, twenty, twenty. Thank you, twenty dollars, and welcome to the forty-second annual Island School Gala Auction. Of course, this year we're doing it virtually, but nonetheless, your generosity helps to fuel the next generation. For 42 years, this auction has helped support our local community by building up our youth and giving them a quality education. Of course, this year is a little different, but nonetheless, our need remains the same. And even more so, we're looking for you to look into your heart and look into your wallet and give what you can, even if it's just support. So on behalf of the Office of the Mayor on the County of Kauai, and everybody here on Kauai, we want to thank you for your generosity. We're going to get through this together. We want you to have a great time. Bid big, big wins, and to Island School, thank you so much. To the students out there, stay strong. We believe in you. Mahalo, Mayor Derek Kawakami. Thank you so much. Welcome, folks, of course. Uh, now, in the spirit of uh, the timeline issue and, and uh, travel in time, I'm wearing a shirt I bought in 1999 that takes us back to the last century, I believe, and my makeup is from 10 years ago. There you are. That's my part. Hope you're having fun and you're bidding right now. Now, we have an event timeline we want you to go to. While uh, we're disappointed to not be able to gather in person this year, we do have the timeline going on now, and it, it will continue throughout the evening. Bid on items on the online action uh, auction. Make a cash donation. There are several ways to do the bidding. Be sure you register by going to our website, of course. Start bidding online with HandBid. You see these slides will give you information about that. Hopefully, you're following us online at our website and we'll continue bidding throughout the evening please donate do your best for us and for all of kawaii thank you so much now we'd like to introduce our performers for the opening blessing oli and kanipu opening le pua akilehua o kalani wan hanale wan kelii ho'omalu and joshua dobashi Aloha. The first chant we're going to do this afternoon is a chant written by Koi's very own Makana Garma. This chant glorifies and praises Kauai. Ea e kala makahikina, kahiki mai aloha kufunae, ku kahali aitali awaikini. Wai ale ale mola le e e a e na pu ale mo ki hana kama vai lu ala ni u ave e e ve hi ke ia aloha e aloha ku u ne hana u e aloha no aloha e. Mano kalani po aloha e, aloha no aloha e. Mano kalani po aloha e. The second chant we're going to do today is a chant that talks about lanakila, to move forward, to, to win, to succeed, to embrace success and 
um, to want a good and better future. Aole no he lua, me kava hinele ula, ho o moe a moe iho, ki na hia he la ve pio, aole no he lua, me kava hinele ula, Ho o moe a moe iho, ki na hia he la ve pio, a ole no he lua, me ka wahinele ula, ho o moe a moe iho, ki na hia he la ve pio, and mahalo again. Thank you so much, uh, Lay. Very good. Now, this is a great way to start our program, and thank you, Joshua and Hanalei as well. Now, these are the performers. We'll have more of that, but remember, bidding is going on right now. Get to that bidding. In fact, we'll be talking about some bidding that will be closing in just a few moments. We want to thank our sponsors because they, of course, make this happen. Uh, without uh, KW Kauai, that's Keller Williams Realty. Uh, our platinum sponsor, gold sponsors, Custom Cooling. The Pratt family, Arthur Hurley, gold sponsor, silver sponsors, uh, UHA, KDC, Charlie and Mary B. King, and Bank of Hawaii. Our bronze sponsors, Ohana Motors, Curtis and Jamie Lee, Wilcox Health, and Nupia Land Company, and King Auto Center. Thanks again to uh, these sponsors. You'll see them posted uh, again throughout the evening. Now, it's really important for you to get to that bidding because we're about to close the very first auction packages, which will close in five minutes. You'll see these. Uh, the first is beer for a year and a kegerator. If you know what a kegerator is, you want this. Enjoy up to 10 5.2 gallon kegs. And we also have the three night stay at the historic Hanalei home at Kaike Olani. That's in Hanalei as well. And you've got six bedrooms, six bedrooms. If you had that beer with you, you'd really have a good time. So get them both if you can. Beer for a year from the Kauai Beer Company and that three night stay at the historic Hanalei home at Kauike Olani in Hanalei. Now, this is very important that you get on this because we're closing that in just now four minutes or so. I'd like to introduce our next speaker to, for the evening. By the way, I'm Ron Wiley, I can't help it. We're gonna have a good fun time. Stay online with us, get to bidding. Let's introduce speaker Kate Conway, who is the head of Island School. Kate Conway. Thank you, Ron. Aloha. Tonight, we think of festivities of auctions past while enjoying the present moment with friends gathered virtually from near and far to, su to support Island School's future and the future of Kauai, our students. Island School's mission is educating the mind, inspiring the heart, preparing Kauai's youth to lead lives of significance. Your support tonight directly impacts our ability to provide excellence in education to Kauai's youth. Through bidding high and bidding often, you can help us to provide plentiful financial aid and affordable tuition. Island School's core of excellent academics makes us a very strong school. But what you'll see tonight are the unique Island School experiences that build on our academic program and make us great. You'll have the opportunity to glimpse inside our Napua Keiki world, the learning voyages experiences, our visual and performing arts and athletic programs, and our community service initiatives. All of this works together to build a strong foundation for our students to live lives of significance on Kauai and in the greater world. Island School would not be great without the generous support of volunteers and donors. We are blessed to have so many supporters who are generous with their skills, time, and financial resources. Tonight, we extend a huge thank you, especially to our auction committee and our volunteers, to Kathy Richardson and Laura Ryan for leading the committee, our amazing team of volunteers, the small but mighty development office, the board, all of the generous donors of items, and now to all of you who will bid high, 
bid often, and leave the evening with some amazing treasures and a sense of pride in supporting our youth. Thank you. Again, mahalo, Kate. Thank you so much. A wonderful evening for all of us. Uh, and I want to thank uh, our sound guys, the video guys. They're doing a great job here. I was reminded uh, we do. I am working with one of the assistants here. Laura, thank you. That's a beautiful name. I do have to say, Laura, I love you. Now, I'm talking about my wife, although in this case, Laura, I love you too. Thank you. Island School, a very well-known, of course, school for rigorous academics. It is their co-curricular programs that create that well-rounded Island School experience. Now, tonight you'll hear more about several of the programs. So, ready for our first video? By the way, you're still bidding. You're bidding, right? Our first video is covering Napua Keiki program. Thank you for joining We are an outdoor learning environment with three and five year olds. Our, our curriculum is based on our environment, the children, the teachers, our school, the community, and our families. And that's the basis of everything that we're learning from. Oftentimes people ask me about what our method of teaching is and, and my best way to describe it is that we are inquiry teachers. We teach slow, with passion and curiosity. We're very reflective and we adjust as we go. And so we work with students by engaging them in key inquiry prompts such as I wonder, I know, I notice, and then finally what I learned. And that really is our assessment piece that we know what we've taught. Um, we try to teach the kids about Aloha, our Aloha garden, and Malama caring for one another, and Kuleana, your responsibility. So those are kind of the three driving Hawaiian values that we start with with our children. The curriculum gets all based on the children's interests, what they're wondering about. We're pretty much a wondering school. Um, we wonder what we see in our environment. We wonder about the families and their interests, what the kids are interested in and what the teachers are interested in. And so that's kind of the basis for our curriculum and we just build from there. Our next steps and visions for Napua Keiki are still surrounded around the garden. We are looking at um, making an outdoor kitchen where the children can cook outdoors and how we can have more equipment here and storage for it. So that's really our big look into the future is to provide those things for the children to foster their love of learning and cooking and caring for themselves and their families. Very good. Now, we want to thank everyone who helps put all of this together. Thank you so much. Again, all of our sponsors, but especially you, because you're bidding right now. You're online bidding. I want to announce the two packages that are closing now. Beer for a year and a kegerator from Kauai Beer Company. Beer for a year. Thank you, folks. And that three-night stay at the historic Hanalei home, Kauike Olani. You saw that on earlier. That's closing right now now. Now we should be getting a bidder's numbers and the amounts raised and I'll see if I can get that to you as soon as those become available. Maybe we'll even have the person who outbid everyone else. As soon as that is here with me, we'll let you know. I don't see that yet. We've got a bidder at, uh, it looks like Carla, Carla Baker. Carla Baker, thank you. Thank you, Carla Baker. Okay, a round of applause for Carla Baker. We all know her, world famous Carla Baker, our first winner. Excellent, excellent. Now this is gonna happen again, so stay on your toes, stay with us, don't go away. I know you're uh, doing what you do at home or wherever you're watching, but stay with us now. That successful bidder, Carla Baker, thank you so much. Now, uh, we're going to go on to our next step, and thanks to everyone here. We wanna review how much has been raised. I wanna look at that hand bed thermometer. Now, we're talking about the direct donations. Donations, not just bidding, but donations goal of 100,000, and we are now at 33% of those of you who have made donations. Now, with everything included, sponsors and bidding, we're hoping to get $200,000. Right now, we're at 33%. 
for the special appeal, and that appeal is for you, for your heart, to take care of Kauai and our future so that we can be so proud of this school continuing. We have another, what is this? We have, oh, oh I've got for the stay in Hanalei, Marie Bivens. Ah, the Bivens Ohana. Marie, thank you, mahalo to you. We all, all know the Bivens Ohana, thank you so much. Marie, thank you, a wonderful, wonderful bid. Mahalo, and this will continue throughout the evening. Uh, we will certainly hope to be announcing your name as we close out these bids. I want to encourage you to continue bidding. Now we're going to do what I call a did you know or do you care. Some folks call it trivia, but it's not. Now I want you to get on here right now. Let's see who wins. Why were macadamia nuts trees, macadamia nut trees, introduced in Hawaii in 1881? Why? Somebody knows that. And we're using the live chat to see who gets this correct. And if you know it, put it up there, and, uh, and we'll see if we can get somebody pretty quickly here. The trivia question again is, why were macadamia nut trees introduced in Hawaii in 1881? Anyone? Anyone? A wild guess? Go for it. And, and if there are no guessers, we'll just not ever tell you the answer. <laughs> it's going to be up to you. No answer? No qualifier? That's all right. Maybe we'll come back to it. It was to serve as wind block for sugar cane. By the way, it didn't work out very well. <laughs> but we do have macadamia nut trees, and we're very, very thankful for that. This is what can happen. Island School, of course, you know, believes the fine arts are essential for every student's complete development and education. We strive to expose all students to creative experiences through various mediums and content areas, visual arts, theater, music, Hawaiian studies, and we have a video produced to focus on two programs, visual and performing arts. Thanks for joining us. Keep bidding. A study of the arts, visual art, music, theater, allows people to become much more human, more able to make sense out of difficult things in life, because most of the problems we face as adults don't have a multiple choice answer. In art, you're dealing with problems that have a multitude of solutions. Your solution is what you choose. That's more like life. And I think it builds a lot of confidence in students to know, all right, I had a difficult problem here in this sculpture. It was an engineering problem and an aesthetic problem. I worked it out like this. and. I did it. And so it, it enables them to really experience their own power to deal with ambiguous situations, which is really much more what life is. Here at Island School, we're given so much respect and creative freedom to design our curriculum in any way we want. That's so precious. And I think among teachers, it's rare. <laughs> so. As I said, when kids feel surprised, energized, they don't even think about it as a learning thing. They think about it as fun. And so it should be fun. It should be something out of the box. Theater arts is a great place to build skills in collaboration, communication, um, and concentration. There's science in lighting and sound, and there's math in building sets and measuring for costumes. And then we get to be artists and create through our color palettes of our design, and then um, get to pretend and play these fun characters as we tell stories. And they also find ways to um, be creative. I, a lot of jobs and a lot of things in this world we come across where we have to think on our toes or find creative solutions to things. So one thing I love about live theater is that mistakes happen all the time and you have to think on your toes and you have to fix it and you have to go with it. Same thing happens in life. It's a great feat to watch them handle that and those nerves and be excited at the same time to get up and be on the stage. Again, thank you so much, Mahalo. 
you're doing that bidding right now. This is really important. Keep doing that bidding. It's very important. I'm Ron Wiley. I'm just the, the mouthpiece here today for Island School for the 42nd annual live auction. And yes, it's quite different this time around. We're not doing that uh, $25 bid. You got a $25, $35, $45 bid. You got a $50 bid. You got a $60. We're not going to do that. We are working for you and with you to get as much possible funding for the school's programs and for our scholarships. Kamehameha Schools and Island School have partnered together over the years to assist Native Hawaiian students in having the opportunity to attend Island School and earn a college preparatory education. Now to explain more about this program and why it is so very, very important to iSchool and to Kauai and Ni'ihau, here is Buffy Ofisa, Regional Director of Kamehameha Schools Resource Center, Kauai and Ni'ihau. One of the things that was exciting to me was knowing what Kamehameha could do even without a campus here on Kauai. Kamehameha Schools was founded by Princess Bernice Powahi Bishop. The reason she left everything she had was for education, so that her Native Hawaiian people could use the opportunity of education to rise from a place where they were desolate. And what she said was, we're going to come out of this and we're going to come out stronger through education. I think what our Island School Partnership does, right, what Kamehameha and Island School has decided together is educational opportunity is the most important thing for our students, as Powahi meant for us as well. So what Island School provides for Kauai is exactly that. Educational opportunities with strong teachers, with an ability to work with the uniqueness of each and every child, with amazing college going rates, with amazing ability to provide all kinds of different opportunities, whether extracurricular or academic, for our students to thrive. It's that thriving student that's gonna be the OEV leader that leads our, our community one day, and that's what we all look forward to. We talked about what was important to Island School, um, how important raising our kids in their uniqueness to be um, community servant leaders, to be academically prepared for the world ahead of them, and how we also aligned with that and how we also felt like with our Hawaiian culture-based education and the things we do as Kamehameha, the blending of the two and the melting of our people of Kauai and our Native Hawaiian people and Island School, it was an easy one. Island School's mission has never been about making money, right, or being the most profitable um, private school on Kauai. Island School's mission really is about taking care of our community and our kids. So it doesn't matter to me what your current population looks like. If I can give that opportunity to Native Hawaiians across Kauai, as many as possible, not all, then, yeah, there's a perfect marriage in many ways. I like to think that Island School and Kamehameha, we've been family for a while. And I think it happened organically because Kamehameha and Island School, the one thing we have in common is how much we care for our kids, how much we care about Kauai, how much we care about our, oh our ohana, and how we believe in the idea that we need to nurture who our kids are. And so it doesn't matter what school you go to, we're all working towards that same goal of making sure our kids and ohana are cared for so that our future looks bright. And we nurture these relationships through the work we do together. Great, yes. Again, thank you for joining us. Uh, I want to remind you, please be not only bidding, but making donations. You can make a donation at any time. And the donations are extremely necessary to help us get to our goal of $200,000 for the, uh, of course, scholarships and financing of the school and the programs and the students. You can do this. We're doing it again under extraordinary conditions. Please help out. Uh, I believe it was, was it Paula Abbott? I, yes, our, uh, uh, one of the school teachers who got our little did you know or do care correct about the macadamia nut trees that turned out not to be good windbreak. But we've got the macadamia nuts now. Now, I want to encourage you to continue bidding and donate any time during the hour. Don't wait for that. Our next speaker will be a longtime friend, Kathy Richardson, president of the board of directors. Kathy Richardson, make donations. Keep bidding. <laughs> Good evening and welcome to Island School's 42nd Annual Auction. We meet a bit differently this evening, but let's not let that stop us from raising funds to support financial aid and the operations of the school. We depend on your support, as tuition does not cover all of our expenses. 
I'm excited to tell you that our enrollment has blossomed and we are bursting at the seams. And this is a good problem. Back in the 1980s, the Board of Directors made a commitment to have our student population match the demographics of Kauai. We have exceeded this with our current enrollment. By having a diverse student population, we expand the richness of our community. We all bring something to the table, enriching our lives and creating an atmosphere where students feel safe, nurtured, valued, and grow to be lifelong learners. In order to diversify our student population, financial aid becomes critical. Currently, 51% of our student population receives some sort of financial aid. These students bring diverse perspectives, adding depth and complexity to the overall learning experience. Many of these students have flourished at Island School and have gone on to be successful in their fields of interest. Not only do they bring academic experiences, but they are also athletes and they engage in community service. They join together to fulfill our mission, to educate the mind, inspire the heart, and prepare our students to lead lives of significance. Without your help, many students would not be able to afford Island School's education. I hope you all have fun this evening, and thank you again for supporting Island School. here for Island School and the 42nd Annual Auction. And thanks to Kathy Richardson, a dynamo for many great years, and thank you. In fact, I believe it was Kathy that kind of wrote me into doing this some 30 years ago. I'm very, very proud to serve again for Island School. And I want to thank you, those of you who have bid, those of you who have made donations, and I want to encourage you to do a full or partial scholarship. It's very possible we can get to our goal, a total of 
$200,000 with everything included. Now, Island School right now for the $100,000 just straight donations, we're at 43%. We need more. Want to thank folks like David Proudfoot at 517, Jonah Rickshaw, $500, Catherine Deligdig, 517, David and Carla Bissell, 1,035, Pua in Punua Insurance Agency, $1,000. Charlie and Mary B, $5,133. Alan King, $7,500. We have Jed Gushman, $1,035. Matthew Hurley at $1,797. And Tim King Jr. at $10,000. We're still looking for more donations. Get on to those donations right away. We'll hope to announce other names as they become available. We thank you. Continue to do that whenever and however you can. If you have a donation to make, this is the time to do it. We only have until 7 o'clock. We're about halfway through our program. We have more, but we want you to know how grateful these students will be when you help them be able to attend this school. Folks of all walks of life. I don't know how you feel about scholarships. I was able to attend high school only because of a scholarship. There are people like this right now, high school. I, that was a public high school back in the day. So for this school, you can really make a difference for our future, their future, and invest in all of our future. Please make the donation as soon as possible. And if it's not a donation, bid. Now, for our Island School's annual auction, we are at 60% of the goal for the auction itself. Now at $100,000, the special appeal. That's 60%, uh, just about $60,000. So we can do this with your help. Special thanks to all these folks, David Proudfoot, Joan and Rick Shaw, Catherine DeLigdig, David and Carla Bissell, Punua Insurance Agency, Charlie and Mary B, Alan King, Jed Gushman, Matthew Hurley, Tim King Jr., and thanks again to you, Kathy Richardson, as well. And anyone else who makes a bid. Now, the next two auction packages will close in five minutes. Five minutes. They are the Board of Directors Curated Wine Collection. Read about it there. Meticulously curated by Chambers and Chambers Wine Merchants and the California Wine Country Package. That's the California Winery Package where you will go there and you have an opportunity to, to spend time in the wine country and see it firsthand. Again, the Board of Directors curated wine collection, uh, great wines from all across the United States and Europe, and the California wine uh, also. David Pratt has made another, and Kathy Richardson have made more donations. Again, thank you. Thank you so much, David. Love you, man. See you at the post office. And Kathy Richardson, we love you for all these years, and thank you for asking me to be here. Again, Island School's annual auction special appeal goal is $100,000, but our total goal will be $200,000. We can't do this without your donations this evening. We want you to do it as soon as possible. Now, I believe we're going to uh, talk about our sponsors again. Thanks to our sponsors that make this possible. Uh, Custom Cooling, the Pratt family, Arthur Hurley, their gold sponsors, Platinum, KW Kauai, Keller Williams Realty. Thank you, our event sponsors. Thanks to 25 years of better health, UHA Health Insurance, Charlie and Mary B. King, Kauai Dental Care, KDC. Thank you. Thanks to Custom Cooling, the Pratt family, and others. These folks you'll see on our website and on our Facebook and on this evening's presentation throughout the night. Now, you know, the goal of Learning Voyage is to get our students here on Kauai outside of the classroom and interact with our island school, state, country, and the world in ways that really aren't possible by sitting in the classroom. Now, to explain more about the Learning Voyage program is Dean of Students, Nathaniel Evslin. Nathaniel. <music> So I see students and I want them to be interested. I want them to come to school every day and want to learn. Um, and not every student's gonna feel that in a classroom traditional setting. So looking at ways we can inspire them. For the last couple of years, I've been working a lot on a project called The Learning Voyages. We were looking at ways we could really go deep into any topic we wanted and to be able to show our teachers passions and let them design what they wanted for a week of school. And so these learning voyages came out of a lot of conversations. We had already had some travel opportunities for our students, kind of scattered, and we decided to put it, let's do it all during the same week so every student gets to do something amazing. And it's not just some students who maybe get to travel over fall break, but it's every student will spend a week doing something amazing, whether it's on our island, in our state, or across the world. You know, it just opens them to experiences they don't get to have through a normal school day, and 
in turn, that makes the student want to come to school and learn. And one thing we did that was really cool this year because of COVID, we knew we couldn't really leave our campus, is we gave the students the opportunity to design their own. So we had a group of students who um, have connections on a local ranch, and they spent the week out on the ranch learning about what it takes to run a ranch. And I think some of them decided that's something they're very interested in, and some of them are like, I, I never want to see a cow again. Um, and these design your own learning voyages uh, were a success and it's something we want to build into next year. And I think it really gets them to see, you know, not only our island and get out to experience our island, but just experience things, uh, learning things that you can't in the classroom. You know, for our middle and high school where we're in 55 minute blocks, there's amazing learning that can happen in that, but there's some things you just can't do in a 55 minute block. For example, like one of our middle school teachers did Le Po'o and they made amazing um, Le Po'o and just were able to spend the entire day picking flowers, working on it, and understanding the history and significance of it. Um, so I think having that longer block of time, whether it was this year and being one day or last year and four days or 10 days and these experiences really is meaningful to students. And it's the things that students remember for the rest of their lives. We're hoping next year to be able to travel again, to go all over the world, all over our country, explore our island. Um, and that's not available to all the students because there is a cost involved and the students have to pay for their trips and their different voyages. And we're trying to keep those costs down. Um, and so support of Island School and support of our learning voyages can open these up to, you know, every student at Island School and make sure they all have the same opportunity. Oh, wow. How come no blindfold on the pinata thing there? What was that? <laughs> We'll find out. Maybe it was an OSHA safety situation. I'm not sure for the school. I get it. It could be dangerous. Thank you. Thank you, Nathaniel Epsilon. Now, our next trivia question, or as I call it, did you know or do you care? Now, now participate on this. Get on it. Do a little chat here. What was the enrollment of Island School when it first opened? What was the enrollment? This could be a little mind-boggling. That very first opening. So go for it now, live chat. We want to see who answered correctly first, and we will congratulate you, or as I would say, congratulate you. We hope to make you world famous by getting that little answer. All right, what was the enrollment of Island School when it first opened? This is participatory, that means you do it, okay? Or you could just go make a bid, or you could donate. We want to continue the donations throughout the evening, and we're hoping for some good, good ones. Well, honestly, any donation at all is going to be very useful to us tonight. So any donation that you can possibly make for the future of Kauai, for the future of our families, for those who would like to attend Island School. Now, I'm giving you the answer. I'm assuming or I'm hoping we've got somebody who got it right. It was 12 students in grades K through 8, 12 students in January of 1977. But it grew to a whopping 22 by May of 1977. Where were you in 1977? Island School. We're participating in the 42nd annual fundraising auction and donation campaign tonight. I want to announce two packages that are closing now. The Board of Directors Curated Wine Collection and the California Wine Country Package. Hopefully we'll get uh, somebody who answered that question correctly, and I'll announce that name. Again, the Board of Directors Curated Wine Collection and the California Wine Country Package are closed. And we'll announce the su successful bidder numbers and the amounts raised as soon as those become available. We have a great crew here trying to work to get that information to me as soon as possible. And when they got it, I'll give it to you. Or they can just yell it out from the distance. It's fine with me. <laughs> Again, the two uh, are Board of Directors Curated Wine Collection and the California Wine Country. Okay, we've got California Wine Country Packaging. Carla Baker got that. And the Board Curated Wine, Catherine Herring Harrison. Is that right? Harrison. Oh, Catherine. <laughs> I'm sorry. I should be able to read to get this job. Catherine Harrison. <laughs> they knew I could talk. Just reading is another thing there. Thank you. Congratulations. And a big round of applause all around the world. And that's right. This could be seen anywhere in the world right now. 
Just, just thought of that. It's great. Now, we'd like to hear from Mary Schmidt, graduated from Island School in 2009. Her husband is here working on the audiovisual with us. She is going to talk about her experience at the school and how it impacted her life. Marty? Marty Schmidt. Aloha, I'm Marty Schmidt, class of 2009. I'm currently working as the brand manager for a residential technology design firm based in Boston. I live on Kauai with my husband, but I'm currently speaking to you from Boston, where my company is preparing to open our new showroom and experience center. Most of my job I can do from home, but some things require I travel out to Massachusetts, uh, which is fun as long as it's not the winter time. Island School opened my world. I had always loved learning, but the classes I was able to take at Island School inspired me to think more critically and more creatively. In particular, I think back to a philosophy class that I took my junior year. I loved that class. <laughs> um, it introduced me to new ways of thinking about the world, but also helped me to articulate my own ideas. And if I had to pick one aspect of Island School that helped prepare me to lead a life of significance, it would have to be the culture of the teachers and staff. Their passion for their subjects inspired me to seek out what I was truly interested in and to stay curious along the way. My teachers always pushed me to do my best and were there to help me when I was struggling with a question or with an assignment. And that desire to do my best I took with me to college and it still exists in everything that I do today. And I'm especially grateful for the guidance I had when I was thinking about colleges. The college admissions process was confusing and complicated and made me nervous, but my guidance counselor was able to help me find a college that I absolutely loved. And after graduation, I went to work for a company that did lighting design for weddings, which is where I met my husband. Um, I then transitioned into a job where I sold residential lighting fixtures, and that job has evolved into my current position as a brand manager that I'm able to do from Hawaii. I'm very grateful and still very proud to be an Island School Voyager. Thank you, Marty. Thank you, teacher at Island School. And you did see her husband, Kendall, who's right over here working with our audio and visual. Thank you so much. Now, we need you to get out there and make these donations. It's really important. You've heard me say it. I'm Ron Wiley. I'm the king of repeat. And I'm going to keep saying it as long as I possibly can to get you to tell us that we've reached our goal. We're trying for 200000 Again, we've got 60% uh, of Island School's annual auction special appeal goal of 100000 which is direct donations. And another 100000 we're going to try to raise through uh, the bidding and through sponsorship and any other way we can do it. The ultimate goal is $100,000 for our special appeal, it's now at almost 60%, very close to it. I want to encourage you to continue bidding, continue donating. Island School embraces the idea that students benefit from regular strenuous physical activity. <laughs> we all do, we all would. The su success of Island School Voyager athletic program continues to grow every year due to family support of athletes, thank you families, volunteerism, and athletic events and fundraising. That's very important to support the programs and the athletes. You're fundraising tonight. Here to tell us more about the athletic program is longtime friend, Sean Magoon. Sean? What we wanted to aspire to be and essentially creating better humans, better people, both through academics and through competition. Our current mission, uh, challenging our students to be lifelong learners, we, we want them to always endeavor to be better, ask the question, how can I do it better? And I think sports go hand in hand with academics and how to do that. As the expression goes, more is learned from a loss than a win. Uh, you can trust me when I tell you as a soccer coach, I've had lots of experience learning from losses. <laughs> and I'm happy to say that that's changed these days. I used to have uh, one kid from one of the schools say to me, uh, Coach, I hate playing your kids because they never give up. And to me, that was the icing on the cake uh, because no matter the score, they played for however many minutes we played. And uh, the kid from the other school would just shake his head and go, you guys don't ever quit. And that's, and that's the life skill. And we're helping kids understand that by putting in the work, the time and the effort now to understand time management, and productivity, that when they get to college, everything else is second fiddle. It'll be easy. 
we're noted in the community as being a very uh, rigorous academic institution. And as an admissions director, I've been blessed to obviously make acquaintances with many students and parents that are interested in Island School. And so from that standpoint, I think we've had a strong foundation that we've built upon and that kids recognize the importance of sports being a privilege and not a right. And that school is inherently the agenda that takes the priority. And so here we, we help pave the way for these students to look at opportunities outside of Island School that otherwise they may have thought weren't possible. And so we're always working with students on a variety of different levels to celebrate their talents. So much, Sean, longtime friend, Sean Magoon. Again, you heard us earlier, we were doing a little did you know or do you care quiz that I call it. Uh, how many students in K through eight back in January of 1977? We did get a winner. That name is on a sign around here someplace. I'm sure someone's gonna hold it up for me again. Oh, there we go. A little closer there. We got it. The, end, the winner was Christine White Zhang. Very good, thank you, thank you. Christine, you win bragging rights and love and affection from all of us. Thank you so much. We'll have another quiz, keep participating. Again, you can make a donation at any time, any time at, for any amount, and you can bid at any time. Next up, we'll introduce our Island School Halal dancers, Hi'ilani Ventura, Jesslyn Coco, and Melina Ventura. Thank you so much again, our Island School, Hello Dancers, Melina, Jesslyn, and Hi'ilani. Excellent. And of course, it's just exactly what Island School is all about. Excellent performance, excellent achievement, excellent futures, and you can be part of it. So make a donation right now. We're at 77%. Well, that means somebody jumped in there quickly. 
Now, we're talking about $100,000 for the goal of direct donations. We want another $100,000 in scholarship and, uh, and of course, other fundraising that'll be going on. A total of $200,000. It's very important now that since the bidding that ended earlier at six o'clock is POW, is all over, that you need to make a donation. We need you to make a donation. And I think you need to as well. You'll feel good. You'll feel excellent. I want to thank the performers. And again, we're at a pretty good place, but we only have a few minutes left here. We're at 77%, 76,670 of the $100,000. We would love to get to that $100,000 goal. We only have about 10 minutes left. The last package will be closing in about five minutes. So bid this up. Now this is parking for a year. A and this is a very special parking for folks who don't know about the school. There are various places to park and parking is at a premium often. And so you get a reserved parking space and you get to choose where that is. Hopefully it's somewhere on the campus. We will put that sign up. You'll get to park where you want. You'll get to have that. And I don't know what happens to somebody who parks there when you should have been. Do they get hauled off? I, and that's certainly certain what happens there, but <laughs> probably some sort of penalty there. <laughs> Again, thanks to our performers. Thanks to all of the, those of you who have made donations and of course, we want to remind you that the last package closes in just five minutes. Giving back to the community, of course, is another important part of Island School. The education, all the students are encouraged to actively participate in community projects. So again, your investment here tonight, your donation will help our community. So here to tell us more about the community service program is one of Island School's teachers, longtime friend also, Pat Gagan. Pat, thank you. <laughs> So my name is Pat Gagan. I'm currently a social studies teacher here at Island School. I've been here for about three years. My daughter attended Island School about two years ago. She graduated. And prior to that, she was required to do social services or, or volunteer opportunities out in the community. And I thought it was great, 20 hours every year. And what I liked about it as a parent and now as a teacher is the exposure it gives to our kids. And with today's society, we've got to keep our kids their, their minds limber and ready to change. It's not just the book learning. They, when they leave this place, they've got to be able to go out in society, deal with people, and deal with whatever's coming up. And we can't train them for all that stuff. So the volunteer opportunities are a great place for them to go out, see how things are really done out in the real world, and to see how the education we're giving them is trying to bring it back. So I think it really enriches our students in many varied ways. And we've got programs that do everything working with Nana's house, trying to provide things for them. At Christmas time, we always have giving trees where people can volunteer, bring things in. And right now with COVID going on, we found a couple of opportunities. They can still do beach cleanups, but that's kind of on a solo type thing. But we do have some places where we're actually making food to help the homeless. And they're doing that on a, a bi-weekly basis and getting it out there. So the volunteer activities we're doing our real life and they're things that need to be done. You see the pride of the kids doing real work, doing that and know that they're giving back to the school. I mean, they feel good about it. Um, one of the other things that we've done lately is, especially this year, focused on campus, what kinds of community service we can do here. So we've started planting more trees, we've done more landscaping. We've looked for those opportunities where we can just make our place better. And that's really one of the keys we're trying to get the students to understand that, you know, we're teaching you to be a smart person, get a good job, go out, but the important thing is what you can contribute to society. Um, a couple of the things we've been able to do here on campus is plant more trees. We're trying to get kind of a fruit and tree forest put together that we can walk through, that type of thing. We've got a community garden going on here where the kids can get some credit for doing that. Every week we're collecting all the recyclables around here, trying to make sure those are getting to the right place. And again, these are all building skills for how to be good citizens in society and really a focus on malamaing the earth, taking care of you know the, the place we live and really trying to make sure that Kauai continues to be the best and most wonderful place it can be. Again, mahalo Pat, Pat Gagan, thank you so much and to all the folks involved in that program. Now, we're, we're doing relatively well tonight, but we are short of our 200,000 overall goal. So right now, 
If anyone has the opportunity to make a donation, please. We're at about 78% of the special appeal. That's $100,000. That's for direct donations. Please, if you can, and there are some of you who can, we know that, please, if you can. Now, if you need to call somebody, ask a friend, text someone, anyone, anywhere in the country, get them on here, get that donation for us, for you, for our community, at 78%. We can do this. We have about five minutes left in our program. We would really like to make the total, which would be 200000 That's the $100,000 of direct donations and $100,000 with our scholarships and so on. Please, if you can, with the bidding, I'm sorry. We, now, we, the bidding does continue. We, have, we are, are bidding right now on that parking space, and I, and I understand it's going well. We'll let you know we might have a little twist on that. I know people are still bidding on that, so keep going that. For now, let's give you another did you know or do you care question, a trivia quiz. At what restaurant on Kauai was Spam Musubi created? And some of those original Spam Musubi are still around. I think if they last that long, I'm not certain. Do you know the answer? At what restaurant on Kauai was the Spam Musubi created? This is for you to do now. Get on there. We'll be glad to tell the world. I'll announce it, and we'll love you forever, I guess. Maybe we'll give you some, sp I don't know if we have any spam moose to be here. Go for it. Do it right now. In the meantime, though, make a donation and uh, bid on that parking space. We'll let you know about the development on the parking space. Nope, nothing yet on that. We know that it's doing well. Okay, we have an answer, and so we'll give you the answer. It was Joni Hanna at Kukui Grove in 1983 by Barbara Fulmura. Joni Hanna at Kukui Grove. And that's amazing. Maybe you knew that. That was our last trivia question. And thank you, those of you. Now, the last package, the parking for a year, closing. Closing. We have a bid of $4,400. Number 174, private parking space of $4,400. Should we, should we double this? Should we, do I, can I get a, an okay to, to, is there anyone there who can say yes? Okay, yes. yes, yes, okay. One other person, if one other person will match that bid, $4,400, do it now. The first person to do it will also get the parking space. It's my fault if this is wrong. I'm Ron, I can't help it. Okay, uh, I'm, doing it. I'm doing it. I'll be out of here in a few minutes anyway. Laura, I'm coming home, don't worry. 4,400, can we get it? Did we get it? Let's hope we do. Did we, Russ? Ross, Ross Asuncion. Ross, you did it, you got it. And you can pick your parking space after she picks hers or whoever won the other one did. Or was that Ross in the first place? Ross was the first one, and the second was Stephanie Valentino. Valentino. Okay, Stephanie, you'll have, for, you'll have to wait for Ross. Okay, now the, that's the successful bidder. And our last moment here, we only have a couple of minutes left. Again, it's very, very, very important for you to thank our sponsors, uh, use their businesses, go to the donors, thank them. Thanks to the volunteers for all the work they've done, and it's a lot of work to put this together. I've got the easiest job, just talk, 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 that's all, read a little bit. Thank you, mahalo, thanks to all Island School teachers, Island School parents, supporters, bidders, board of directors, folks who work here at the school, everyone, thank you so much. Maintenance, all the folks involved in the great futures of Kauai. These folks will be giving back. You have made an investment in our future. Mahalo. Let's see what our last thermometer reads, and then we'll go to our last entertainment. I believe if we can find out that last amount. We're trying to get $200,000 overall, so we did not make the full $100,000 yet. But you have a couple of moments left. You have a couple of moments left to make a donation, just a straight donation, to get us up to the full $100,000. I don't see that yet. 
can we're good, we'll wait just a few moments because somebody might be doing it right now. What a privilege, what an honor to be serving you. And thanks to A.B. Kauai, our guys here, they went way above and beyond. Thank you. Thanks to the whole crew. There's about 40 of them here. Thank you, guys. You did a great job. Appreciate it. And, of course, Island School. I got something to try to read. It says uh, we have $173,000. Is that it? One seventy-three. Mm. Close. I'll wait 30 more seconds. <laughs> you can still make your bidding. Should we keep the bidding? Can we keep the bidding open after this? No, we'll have to end it right at 7 o'clock. Uh, please continue to donate, though. If you're a little slow with your, <laughs> your computer or your phone, get to it now. Call a friend. Call an auntie, please. Again, on behalf of Island School, the 42nd annual auction, live auction, if you will, fundraiser, quite different because of the pandemic. But again, your love has been shown, and that love will carry on. Thank you so much. Mahalo. And coming up, we have Makani Mana Ia Okalani Trask, Andrew James, AJ Galiza, our closing performance. I'm Ron Wiley. Laura, I love you. Thank you.